Point number five. The last one. The steps to uncommon victory. The testimonies of what God has done for you in the past. They prepare you for uncommon victory. The testimonies of what God has done for you in the past. They help you to achieve uncommon victory. Never forget to testify about what God has done for you. Never forget to confess what God has done for you. It will help you to defeat your enemies in the future. How do I know? David used that weapon to defeat Goliath. First Samuel chapter 17 verse 36. First Samuel chapter 17 verse 36. First Samuel 17 verse 36. Listen to what brother David said. He said, Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them. Did you hear that testimony? Seeing he had defied the armies of the living God. He said, what he's saying is that, who is this man compared to the lion that I faced in the secret? Who is this man compared to the bear I fought in the secret? He was testifying. He said, this is what I was able to achieve by the help of God. This is what God has done for me in the past. God backed me up. And that's why he said in the next verse, in verse 37, he said, David said, moreover, 1 Samuel 17, 37, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion, out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this place time. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. It was when he said this that Saul changed his mind. Your enemies will change their mind. Those who are discouraging you, they will change their mind. When they hear your testimony, they will change their mind. Because if you look at the last part of that scripture, when he finished saying this, the same Saul that was discouraging him, saying, don't go for that battle. This man is experienced in warfare. You are a small boy. When he finished testifying, David said, Bible said, and Saul said unto David, that's the king, go and the Lord be with you. Testify. Testimonies have power. That's why, do you know that the angel Michael and all the other angels defeated Satan and all those who were disobedient in heaven by power of testimony. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Testimonies are powerful. Never, never forget to testify of what God has done for you in the past. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. David have victory because he testifies. 